Hello everybody, it's Kathy Ballard here. Thank you for joining me for the replay. Um, I'm just going to wait for a few moments to see if anybody's going to be joining me live. So I wanted to talk to you about abundance and what's blocking your flow of abundance. Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of ways that we stop ourselves from receiving more in our lives. And uh, so I just wanted to look a, a little bit into what we can do to free some of those blocks. A lot of it is a mindset shift that we can do. And hopefully by the end of um, just this short live stream, you might hopefully have got some insights as to um, where you might have been stuck in your head or different ways of looking at things. So I'd love you to comment below at the end if or as we go you know if there's if you've got some insights as we go along I'd love to know how it lands for you so for those of you who don't know me I'm Kathy Ballard I'm an energy coach I'm a facilitator for higher consciousness work and that kind of means um so I'm, I'm a channel I bring through a lot of energy which is like it, uh, that really helps support people who are feeling stuck and they can't see way ahead and it's a little bit like shining a uh, a high beam torch into, into the confusion and darkness so that they can see much bigger possibilities for lives and businesses and see those next steps ahead so that they can feel happier and more abundant and more trusting in that flow of life. What else do you want to say? Oh yes, if you do like what I'm talking about tonight, please do share it and you know also hit subscribe or the follow button which you might see somewhere around the video um, and that will help you um, get notified next time I'm doing more talks on accessing your abundance and, and living from your greatness and staying in flow. So let's kick off. What is abundance, first of all? You know, it, for me, it's definitely not just money and material things. Hi, Devla. It's um, for me. It's about fulfilling that dream in your heart. It's a real inner feeling of joy and plenty and that there's a con constant supply of good coming my way that's what it feels to me what i'd love to know what it feels to you actually so pop your uh, pop comments in in the box below and just let me know what what does abundance mean for you so everyone has a dream in their heart don't they it's it's um and some people are more connected to those dreams than others. Some people have real clarity about specific details and they know exactly what they're born for and they've got this purpose that's really really clear and they know where they're going. Whereas other people have got a much broader sense of that they're here to make a big difference or or how they want to feel and experience their life. Uh, and then there's yet other people who maybe because of their conditioning um, that they find it really hard to even let themselves see what their dream is and what pos what's possible for them. Dervil is saying feelings of joy and freedom. Yeah, great. So it's the, it's the inner feeling, isn't it? Um, and these, this dream that we have comes through your heart. Your heart knows it's really, really wise and your heart's connected energetically to that unlimited you, to that, to your greatness, that, um, infinite organizational intelligence of the universe that and it's that that knows and creates everything and we're, we're intrinsically connected to it you and it's there also in that infinite version of you that's where infinite abundance comes from as well the flow of um abundance when you see it's like if you look at nature you can see this abundant flow of the unmanifest energy of of source coming into physical form through nature it's just you know especially sort of around spring and summer there's such an abundance of expression everywhere and um, if you think of it in terms of like mother nature isn't hasn't got any barriers to just expressing the energy through her whereas we have a lot of barriers Syl Sylvia's saying it, for her abundance is happiness and fulfillment in all areas of life. Absolutely, thank you. Um, so yeah, this we're not separate from our abundance, but 
what normally happens is we have a perception that we are just this small being in this body and we are a lot of the time trapped in our heads and we forget how powerful we are we we don't realize that we are connected in this way to our greatness and so we live from this level and when we live from this level it's based on our past experiences past learnings the thing that we've been uh, taught the thing that the people tell us that we should do um fixed perspectives about how life is or how things are and all of those thoughts and um, points of view and um, th they sort of limit you by fixing something in in reality or fixing it in your mind I should say and that doesn't allow flow to happen because it's it's like uh, it makes something solid within your own consciousness and so for me abundance and opening up your flow of abundance is opening up uh to a sense of being more fluid of letting go of judgments and allowing much more possibility um allowing much of questions to be there in your life rather than just um having that fixed perspective of this is how it is and this is how i have to be it's about trusting that when you're in this um when you're connected to your greatness you're connected to this infinite source of universal energy where all possibilities exist all all potential exists there and for, for us as individuals we are if you think about um the, the wave is like part of the ocean but it kind of as a as a human in a, in a little body we forget that we're part of this greater consciousness when we connect to it we have you know we it's like from that place we can connect to what our purpose is, where we're meant to be going, what our uniqueness it is that we were brought into this this life for, all the things that we've learned, all the things that we've um, experienced, and all our passions and everything that is that that we have within us that makes us so unique and different. They all point to where we're meant to be taking our lives and the the contribution that we're meant to be making in the world and that is what helps you when you when you take make choices that are in alignment with that that's when your abundance opens up when you and it's not always comfortable so when you um resist what's there because you don't like how it feels because maybe you've taken a big leap outside your comfort zone and you run into the head talk which comes up and says oh you can't do this because or who do you think who, who you're trying to kid you're you're not um not all that you're you know who do you think you are to think you can do this that and the other uh oh any kind of we have so many blocks don't we and um you know if you buy into that and you feel the resistance in your body or even if you don't feel it because you've automatically reacted um, on an unconscious level to what is uncomfortable because it might trigger all of our like all the painful feelings that we've learned in the past of I'm not good enough because I'm not, or, or I'm not worthy or um, all of that stuff is like it's locked in pushed down within us and the things that come into our lives it triggers it and we have this way of pushing it right down again if we're not wanting to go there unless we're being very conscious about it and we're wanting to do healing and we want to move forwards so a lot of the times it's really easy to get stuck oh i can see some hearts thank you <laughs> a lot of the time it's really easy to get stuck and especially there's a lot of energy going on around the planet at the moment there's loads of people I've been talking to and we all seem to be going through this um, particularly very sensitive people it's like we're being called to really step up we're being called to you know step into that greatness of who we are and make that difference and make that contribution and if we're holding back and playing small it's like we're getting these big kicks to the bum and uh, or it gets really uh, it makes you feel really uncomfortable to to not be moving or it feels like you're getting stuck and you're just not moving ahead at all 
And I know that there's been so many people talking about feeling so stuck, particularly since the beginning of the year. Stuck, not in flow, where's the abundance coming from, money issues, all of this has been going on. And um, this has been going on for me too. I'm certainly, um, there's, you know, I've, I'm including myself in this. And it's interesting that when I, when I teach this for, share it for other people, I get my own uh, learnings and reminders as well. So it's, it's really wonderful to be able to share this with you because I get my own little nudge and reminders. And um, so when all of this is going on, it's like we resist it and we're in this place where there's a, there's a real flux. We're in change. I was obviously saying her too. <laughs> we're in this change. It feels so uncomfortable. And it's almost like um, we're in that transition period, like caterpillar soup. So when the caterpillar's you know, gone into the pupa and it's not yet formed yet, it's not a caterpillar anymore, but it's not yet you know, finding its way out of the, the, the pupa to become a butterfly. It's an uncomfortable place and it feels like it takes forever. It feels like, um, well, like mountain climbing where you've got all those false horizons and you just think, oh, I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. You get to the top and you see another horizon in the distance. It's like, oh, <laughs> we've still got more to go. So I'm, uh, so you're saying anything you resist, persist, that's so true. And I'm sure this resonates with a lot of people, this feeling that um, the, the false horizon is more things to learn. But I just want to remind you that this doesn't mean that you're stuck. It just means that you're going through really deep learning and, and a lot of the stuff that is um, that has been feeling really uncomfortable is all the old crap coming out. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. If you can stay open to it and actually release that resistance, allow yourself to sit with it, allow the discomfort and experience it because pushing down the discomfort, that stops your flow. So if you can actually give yourself permission to feel everything, and I don't mean wallow in it, but actually just kind of be with it, observe it, allow it to be, it will lift up and out of your system and, and then it's like you're lifting out layer after layer after layer. And you, if you've been doing this for a while, it means that you are really close to a breakthrough. And I know that may feel like, oh God, I've heard that so many times, but you know, just keep going because, well, what else are you gonna do? You've got to keep going. That's who you are, that's your heart. It will keep you going. And if your dream is a big enough dream, then that will, keep you moving forwards as well so don't give up hope your breakthrough is it's a definite it's on the way. um what else can i say let me just check uh what, what did i want to say oh yes often in these circumstances we go into this place of such self-doubt we go into this place of self-doubt and we don't trust that what we what what we wanted was correct for us. We think we go straight into our head because it feels like nothing's working out. We think we must be wrong. Uh, and the, the usual sort of default thing that we have when we're, when we're in that, we're trying to work it all out with our, with our minds. And it just doesn't work um, because you're moving into something new, you're moving to a new place and there is no uh, point of reference from, from your head level because you've not experienced it yet. So then you go, okay, if I don't know, someone else must know. And then you start looking outside yourself to the experts and maybe you see someone who's been through what sounds like your journey and they've got a fantastic and that system that sounds like it would really get you to where you want to go and you can see that they they're a really authentic person and they've they've had an amazing journey that you know you really believe that they can help you the thing is nobody has the same journey as you it, you will never be able to create the same experience that, that they have 
And another thing is um, they they try and it, something to watch out when you see this kind of um, program of it is they often talk about I can save you all the heartache and then give you the shortcuts and everything like that. The shortcuts they rob you of lessons. So again, they don't work. It's a really important part of this journey. All of this, all of this discomfort we were, so many of us are going through. For some reason, it's really important right now to be going through it. And um, it's really important to know that you are the only one that knows your truth. So don't give your power away to others who tell you that they can find that for you. If they have um, technical things that they can teach you, that's brilliant. It's the obvious, yes, keep going, keep going. <laughs> um, they, if they've got technical stuff that can help you uh, put systems and processes in place, that's fantastic. But just be really careful about people who tell you that, that they can do it or, you know, do it their way because you're going to, you might find that you, you do do it their way and even while working with them, lots of things work out really, really well. And this has happened to me lots of times. As soon as you're on your own being you, being authentic, it stops and it's like, well, why isn't it working? There must be something I'm doing wrong. And it's not you're doing something wrong. It's just that you're not following a system that's right for you. You're not looking for those answers again that are somebody else's method. And you have all the answers inside you. So how do you get unblocks and free up your flow of abundance? So the first thing to do is to remind yourself that you're not this just this small little body you're not this small person with un, with uh, limited power. You're an infinite being in physical form. And if you can drop out of your head and connect your heart and with your dreams for an abundant life, that's especially if it's for the good of all, it's like you connect to that really great expansive part of you and you start to feel um, a sense of spaciousness around your challenges. Uh, you get insight dropping in and you can feel the energy shift within you. Um, it's really important to practice being the energy of what you want to create. So visualize every day how you want to be in your life. It's because when you're practicing it as if it's happening now, you're practicing being in a vibration and you're charging up your energy field. And the law of attraction means that you'll start to draw to you uh, a, a matching experience in physical reality. Connect with your heart. Trust that your heart knows the answers. Connect with your vision. Connect with what is really important to you. Connect with the energy of who you are being in that future version of you, where life is in flow, where your abundance is flowing in. And, you know, do that as much as you can because it doesn't work to just do it once and then not be consistent. It's really important to be mindful of all of the the opposing thoughts that will come up to sort of counter that. You know, if you can, um, when you get into the, the negative, the negative is always going to come up. It's like as soon as you get your dream, the, the opposite will come up as well. This is part of the healing, this is part of the transformation. And it's important not to buy into that head stuff. So meditation really helps to quiet in the mind, but just observing as well and allowing, as I said before, you know, allowing the resistance to come up, to feel it, to feel any of the um, uncomfortable feelings, any of the negativity, but trusting that this is coming up to be released because it's not the truth of who you are and it is leaving. I promise. If you if you don't try and push it down, it will leave. And all of the guidance, because you go into your heart, you're con intimately connected. So all of that guidance for the next steps ahead, they can also be there too. And because you're tapping into that infinite self, you're tapping into that place of all knowing, of infinite creative energy, and uh, infinite wisdom. And so all of the answers for yourself are there and you do it by connecting with your heart. It also helps to, when you're watching your minds, just really careful about languaging. 
to you know speak words of possibility rather than words that contract or limit you and it's really important to be in the allowance of everything so you know let yourself feel a bee and just um sort of stop whatever you're doing don't resist the flow don't resist whatever's coming because it's all meant to it's all meant to come to you in order like if you put a desire out into the universe the opposite will come up in order for you to lift it out it's all part of the process so just don't hold that process back don't put the brakes on it's everything's changing and trust that uh, everything is perfect so those are a few tips um i of course it's easy to learn to do and me to just tell you but it does only go in at the level of the mind and this kind of thing and it's often really confusing to know it and to do a bit of it and then to not see things change so as i said before you know transformation happens when you embody it regularly and it's so that you know that it's true that it's real when you've had an experience of your greatness uh, when you know from a much deeper place that this is true it's like you can trust yourself so much more and that's when things really shift that's when magic miracles can happen because you can tap into this infinite part of you and ask for what you want and so uh, you know that's the ask and you shall receive kind of thing it, it, it's coming from there it's trusting that you are this infinite creator and that you have all the powers of the universe to change your life in the ways that are for the greater good so those are some of the things that you could do if you would like to do this with me i have um an invitation for you that uh on my on the first of july which is a saturday i'm running my activate abundance workshop and it's taking place in uh just outside of london at a really gorgeous woodland venue called green acres and it's going to be a practical fun and really empowering day where you'll learn to play with energy tools and uh, they will help you release anything that's blocking your flow of abundance and they'll expand your capacity to receive that much more it will help you break free of small thinking and really open you up to that sense of limitless possibility that um, expansion and sense of allowance so come and spend the day connecting with your greatness and getting past those fears and past that sm small thinking discover what's really possible for you and you know that it will be a day that will just it will leave you feeling really expanded energized full of joy and knowing what the first steps are on your path from here it's a day of really playing with magic miracles and abundance and you'll start to see things really kick into gear so the cost of the day is 97 pounds it's from 9 30 to 3 30 and if you would like to join me for this transformative experience you can save your spot by going to kathyballard.com forward slash AA. So abun uh, activate abundance. So it's kathyballard.com forward slash AA just to just initials of the name. And it would be really, really wonderful to see you there. I'll put a description in the box. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it for me for now. I would love to know if you've got any other comments. Oh, we've just seen a comment from Sylvia. Can it flow through body pain? Oh, we're talking about resistance, and yes, that is absolutely what it can do. Your um, your body it is a kind of like your body's a speak for what's going on inside. So it's actually that's a whole new that's a whole other um, live stream, but it's definitely part of it. So if you are feeling body pain, don't resist that either. It's um it's how energy sort of manifests on a physical level so if you can feel the body pain just be with it observe it don't try to push it away or go i don't want this see if you can uh give some allowance to it and it should shift and you can if, if you know how to channel energy you can channel energy into it and you can change it at the energetic level but that's again that's something that we can explore in the workshop so as I said, that's it for me for now. If you've got any questions or comments, do pop them in the box. And I'd love to know how this lands for you and if you've got any insights from it. And um, you actually inherently know all this already. So it's really that I'm hoping to just remind you of what you know. So if you 
do like what I've been talking about, please share it and you know hit hit the subscribe or the follow button, and um, you'll get notifications when I do other live streams in the future. So that's it from me for now. Till next time, I shall see you very shortly. Okay, bye then.